So you're thinking about moving to Herndon, Virginia, but you'd kind of like to know a little bit more about the area before you decide to make that big move? Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be covering. I'm actually going to take you into my computer so that I can show you around on Google Maps, give you an idea of where Herndon is in proximity to Washington, DC, the local airports, the toll road, metro, and of course, what it also has to offer for shopping, dining, and entertainment. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to stick around because we're going to get after it right now. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, working, and playing in Northern Virginia, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so that you'll never miss a video. My name is Amanda and the team and I get calls every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, reach out on social, whatever works for you, we've got your back when you're making that move to Northern Virginia. So here we are looking at Herndon, Virginia. And before we dive into commute times, just wanna have a look here to show you that Herndon is very easily accessible in terms of proximity to 267, which is the Dulles Toll Road. And then it's also very close to another major commuter route, which is Fairfax County Parkway running right here, that's Route 286. And we're also going to take a look at its proximity to Route 7. Route 7 is right up here to the Northeast. This is Route 7 here. Route 7 will take you straight into Tyson's Corner and we'll take a little bit closer look at that when we are looking at commute times. First up, let's start with how long is it going to take you if you're living in Hamden and you are commuting into Washington, D.C. Hernan is a reasonable commute into the city. I wouldn't say that it's super close by. It's just shy of 25 miles from DC, depending on where you are in Hernan. And then you're looking at about 35 to 40 minutes if there's no traffic. And I wanna point out that this is currently showing you if you are going to be taking the toll road. If you prefer not to take the toll road, then you could certainly take an alternate route, which I would recommend either Route 7 or you can take Fairfax County Parkway and then cut in from there to be able to jump on 66 and then head into the city. So you do have some options in terms of different routes should there be a day where traffic is just really terrible. We also wanna look at commuting to Arlington, Virginia because that is a major employment hub in our general area. Hernan is a little over 18 miles in terms of traveling to Arlington in about 26 minutes. If there's traffic, you're probably gonna be inching closer to 45 minutes, possibly an hour if traffic is really bad. But same thing as uh, DC, Arlington's only about a few miles outside of DC, again, depending on where you are. And that will vary in terms of commute as well, but it is a little bit closer than DC, but not by much. Next, we're gonna look at Tyson's Corner. And Tyson's is very close to Herndon. If you are living in Herndon and heading into Tyson's, you're looking at about 20 minutes and just a little over 12 miles. Again, this is showing you if you're gonna be traveling on the toll road, but if you want to avoid the tolls, that's certainly an option when living in Herndon. And you could come in right here on Route 7 and 7 will take you right through the heart of Tyson's corner. So no matter where you're working there, you would just jump off on either side depending on where your office is. Now let's look at proximity to the local airports. If you're living in Herndon, Dallas is going to be your closest airport and it's very close, less than five miles away and only about 10 minutes. You can now take Metro to the airport on the Silver Line. That's something that is new for the Herndon area. And we will show you the Metro station as well very easy to head out to the airport but if you are driving or someone is driving you and it's not it's just a personal driver not uber or lyft be sure to take the dulles access road so that you don't have to pay the tolls when you're heading to the airport 
you won't have to pay going or coming as long as you are headed straight to or straight from the airport. We're also gonna have a look at Reagan. Reagan is quite a bit further in terms of proximity to Herndon, but I think it's worthwhile checking it out because it is still a reasonable commute if you're looking for another option. And if you are going to be flying, be sure to compare prices between Dulles and Reagan. Sometimes there is a fairly large price difference, not always, but it's worth taking the time to check it out. From Herndon to Reagan, it's about 35 minutes and slightly over 25 miles. Again, just depending on where in Herndon you could be coming from. If you prefer to take Metro, that is now an option when living in Herndon. Definitely a welcome addition to the community by the locals. This Metro station has not been open for very long. You can see it if you are traveling on the toll road, you'll be able to see it as you're driving. Very easy access. And depending on what side of Herndon you live on, keep in mind that the Willie Avenue station in Reston may be more convenient for you. Again, just depending on where you land in Herndon. It's not that Herndon is a large area by any means, but depending on where you're located, you may be looking at five to 10 minutes difference and both of those stations are the Silver Line. Now let's take a look at some of the shopping and dining options in Herndon. I'll start out by saying no shortage of shopping or dining in the Herndon area. And no matter where you live in Herndon, you are going to be looking at walking distance to no more than five, 10 minutes in terms of access to anything that you might need on a regular basis. Very convenient location. We're gonna start out by looking at the Herndon Shopping Center and you have Mom's Organic Market here. You have ramen, you have Indian food. You also have Sprouts Farmer's Market, which is offers natural and organic products. You have IHOP, you have Panera, you have Jimmy John's, Popeyes, Chinese food, Vietnamese, and another Indian option along with some ties so you can see the nice diversity that Herndon offers. And I'm gonna come down here a little bit more. This is slightly out of that shopping center, but gotta point out the Nothing Bunt Cakes. That's newer to the area and a popular local spot. And you also have Paradise Indian Cuisine, which is well known in the area. And you have Duck Donuts as well. This is located right off of Elden Street, which is one of the main streets running through Herndon. Directly across Eldon Street, you also have Safeway, which is the anchor store in Herndon Marketplace. Safeway also has a pharmacy within it. You have Palm Beach Tan, McCormick Paints, Mattress Warehouse, Sherwin-Williams, you have a Wells Fargo, and you also have the flagship car wash of Herndon. Our next stop is at Worldgate Center, which is just slightly southeast of where we were in off of Eldon Street. This is also off of Eldon Street. It's just a little bit further down. Again, that's one of the main drags through Herndon. You have Mellow Mushroom if you're looking to grab a bite or good old Mickey D's if it needs to be a quick bite. You have 1131 Eldon Street, Godfur, H Mart if you need to get some grocery shopping in, Chicken Rico, an Indian eatery, Kohl's if you need to do some shopping. And I'm gonna come down here just a little bit further south. You also have Bar Louie if you wanna grab a bite to eat or catch a happy hour. And then AMC Worldgate is also in that shopping center if you're looking to take in a movie. Next, we are visiting the town of Herndon and you really can't talk about Herndon without including their fantastic downtown area. They have done such a wonderful job of making it walkable bikeable, it's family friendly, it's dog friendly. And there are so many local, uh, locally owned businesses there that it's a great place to frequent if you want to be a customer and support a small business. Jimmy's Old Town Tavern, it is well known in the area, very popular spot with the locals, delicious food, be sure to check them out. You have Aslan Beer Company if you're looking to have a beverage. You also have Sully's Poor House. And then in terms of other options downtown, we're not gonna be able to cover all of them because there really are just so many options. 
but we do want to point out Midtown Jewelers. You have Green Lizard Cycling if you're looking to get some work done on your bike or purchase a new bike. You also have Japanese and Korean cuisine at Red Kimono. You have Dairy Queen. You can never go wrong with Dairy Queen. You have an Italian restaurant. You have a thrift store. Auto Body, this is getting a little bit more outside of the downtown area. We're gonna work our way back over here. You have Herndon Clock and Watch. They've been in the business in the area for ages. You also have a couple blocks over Domino's Pizza, Tapioca Express. Anita's Mexican food. This is a well-known chain in our area and also very popular with the locals as well. And while we're here in downtown Herndon, also want to point out that you can see a little bit right here. The W and OD trail runs basically right through downtown Herndon. So if you are interested in accessing it, you know, for a run, a walk, walk your dog, cycling, Definitely very, very easily accessible in terms of proximity to the town of Herndon. It just runs right through it. Herndon also has uh, 11 parks as well, so no shortage of green space in the area. And we're gonna shift over here. I wanna stop by the Herndon Community Center. They always have events going on. They offer a lot of programs, so that's also a great place to check out as well. I'm just gonna drag it this way a little bit and zoom in for you. And you'll notice, you have a little bit better view. Here we go. Also the Herndon Centennial Golf Course. This is a public golf course in Herndon and it's a great place to spend a day on the links. It was named one of Golf Digest places to play. So that can give you an idea of how popular it is. It's a very well-maintained course if you enjoy golf highly recommend that. Um, it has 18 holes as well. Also want to point out Next Stop Theater Company. This is an award-winning theater group and definitely not just for the locals. Lots of people come to this theater to catch a show. So if you're looking to do that, know that there is a theater company right in your backyard if you end up landing in Herndon. Our last stop in Herndon brings us to Frying Pan Park. It's another place in Herndon that it really is unique to the area. You're not gonna find something like this anywhere else. It's right off of West Sox Road. And the biggest plus, you can visit for free. It's home to 100 farm animals and you can come to Frying Pan Park to learn about early farm life in Northern Virginia. And I know you're probably thinking of farm life in Northern Virginia. No, that really doesn't exist too much anymore, if at all, but you can go to Frying Pan Park and explore a variety of buildings and barns that interpret life on the farm from the 1920s to about the 1950s, because during that time, Northern Virginia was mostly farmed. So kind of gives you an idea of what the area was like in a different time frame. They have an antique carousel, hiking trails, hay rides. They also have children's play areas and a country store. And depending on when you go, you may find that you walk into a horse show or equestrian event going on. They have an indoor arena, two outdoor arenas as well. And if you go when one isn't going on, you may just see someone there out for a personal ride as well. It's very equestrian friendly. That wraps up our map tour of Herndon, Virginia. If you have any questions, drop us a comment below. This is by no means all inclusive. We just wanted to give you an idea of what the area has to offer. And there's certainly no shortage of shopping, dining, or things to do. And you are within a reasonable commute to Washington, DC. Herndon is home to 24,577 people. It has a median household income of $117,741 and a median home value of $701,000. As always, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, reach out on social, whatever works for you. We've got your back when you're making that move to Northern Virginia. And until next time, we hope to show you around town.